boys, girls, mums, dads and families. Did you know that reading a book or listening to an audiobook can reduce our stress? Did you know that reading increases our vocabulary and it improves our memory? Well, Ariana Charter School warmly welcomes you back to Tuck In Tuesday, our weekly story time before bedtime. I can't wait to hear all the wonderful books that are going to be read to us each Tuesday by our school community as we launch into Series 8 of this amazing initiative. I hope that you're snuggled up and ready to fall into this week's book titles. Enjoy, sleep tight, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Good evening, boys and girls, and mums and dads. My name is Miss Noni, and I'll be reading this week's story for Tuck and Tuesday. Our story this week is centered around nationality as we move towards celebrating the UAE's 50th birthday. The name of our story is My Mother Like No Other by Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Enjoy the story, boys and girls. أعزائي الطلاب اليوم موعدكم مع قصة جديدة بعنوان من يشبهك يا أمي من تأليف صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم حفظه الله والقصة تتحدث عن غزال يتيم قد فقد أمه As a young boy, I spent time in the desert with my Bedouin mentor, Humaid. I used to camp with him and his family for several days and nights. I liked to spend my free time watching the wildlife. في طفولتي كنت أقضي أياما في الصحراء مع معلم البدوي لأتعلم منه الصيد بالصقور ومهارات البقاء في الصحراء. One day I saw a baby gazelle that was all alone. I remember learning that gazelles often leave their newborn babies alone during the day. Then they usually come back to check on them. and keep them safe from bigger animals. وفي أحد الأيام رأيت غزالا وحيدا وكنت قد تعلمت أن أنثى الغزال تنفصل عن القطيع لتضع وليدها ثم تتركه وتعود إليه كل حين لتطمئن عليه. I sat watching from a distance as I didn't want to disturb the little gazelle. I stayed close because I wanted to keep an eye on it. and make sure it was safe. جلست أراقبه من بعيد أنتظر عودة أمي. ماذا سيفعل يا ترى حين يراها؟ A long time had passed and I realized that the mother gazelle still had not come for her baby. Where did she go? And why didn't she come back? And more importantly, who will take care of this baby? مر الوقت ولم تأتي الغزالة الأم قلقت لطول غيابها لا بد أن شيئا منعها من العودة لصغيرها The sun was going down and soon the desert would be dark and cold The baby gazelle would be in danger out here all by itself I slowly walked up to it and carefully scooped it into my arms and held it close ظللت أنتظر حتى غروب الشمس ولسبب ما لم ترجع الأم أشفقت على الغزال الصغير وخشيت أن يهجم عليه حيوان مفترس فذهبت إليه واحتضنته That's when an idea popped into my head This baby needs a mother to take care of it But who could replace someone so special In that moment I thought about my own mother. وقبل أن يحل الظلام حملته معي وتساءلت من سيعوض الغزال فقد أمي؟ عندها تذكرت أمي فهي تحب الغزلان وترعاها. I thought about how kind and caring she is. Then I remembered that she used to care for baby gazelles just like this one. Her little herd used to follow her everywhere. They adored her and she loved them too. كانت أمي 
تمشي وخلفها مجموعة من الغزلان التي اعتنت بها منذ صغرها ترافقها أينما ذهبت فعرفت أنها ستعتني بهذا الرضيع أيضا As my father's car pulled up at the camp to pick me up I thanked my teacher who made and climbed into the back seat My father was surprised to see that I had brought another passenger with me When he asked me about it I simply said This is a gift for someone special في المساء جاء والدي مع أصدقائه ومعه هدايا كثيرة فحيا معلمي وشكره ثم ركبنا السيارة عائدين إلى البيت والغزال الصغير في حضني طوال الوقت في طريق العودة أخبرتهم بقصته وأخبرتهم أنه هدية لشخص عزيز After a long drive with my new friend curled up on my lap we arrived home I had been in the desert for a few nights and had really missed my mother. I jumped out of the car to greet her. As I handed her the baby gazelle, her face lit up with joy. She was so happy. حط بعد غياب طويل عن امي كم كنت مشتاقا لها سلمت عليها وقبلت راسها ثم اعطيتها الغزال الصغير. Watching her, I realized that bringing happiness to someone you love is also a brilliant way to bring happiness to yourself. فرحت أمي بالغزال كثيرا وكانت فرحتي أكبر فعندما تهدي من تحب تشعر بالسعادة. Sure enough, the baby gazelle followed my mother around everywhere. She cared for it until it was older and stronger and could look after itself. ظل الغزال اليتيم يتبع أمي إلى أن كبر وأصبح قويا. My mother really is one of a kind. There is no one like her. من مثلك يا أمي؟ من يشبهك يا أمي؟ And that's the end of our story, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this week's story. Have a good night and happy UAE National Day. والآن يا أبطالي وصلنا إلى نهاية القصة وأتمنى أن تكونوا قد استمتعتم واستفدتم كثيرا بأحداث القصة كان معكم المعلم السيد منصور معلم الدراسات الاجتماعية